What is the form of a writer? His place is among the pages. His outline is in outlines. His face is traced with footnotes and his feet pace the bindings of the book. When you look upon the page, you see the paths laid out by the pensive pioneer. The pen of a wanderer, retracing their footsteps in the realm of ink, confined within the spine of an old tree. Take heart and make haste. Sit yourself down and make space. I will recreate the events of yesterday. Prepare yourself for law soiree. Do not make light of my tone. The tales I have to tell alone ought to inspire. Nay, astound. Each word a carefully chosen sound. A preparation to bring news to you. A celebration of each and every hue. Of the life of a man living both day and night. Inspired enough to collect what he writes. This fan isn't nearly powerful enough. Within myself are two types of tale tellers. The stoic and the heroic. Two types of poets with reflective perspectives on the events of yesterday. One obsessed with the power of the pen, the other with the page and its contents. One obsessed with story and the other with its creation. Both work in tandem to create the whole piece, a whole being, a dichotomy of fantasy. How else would a writer come into being? They must fantasize in some sense, bring into being what does not exist. They are as much a book as they are themselves. Impress upon the page impressive feats, some excitement to lift you from your seats. To captivate and capture, keep you around, tales to tell long after entering the ground. There is a shifting fine line for what defines a writer, but on either side you find these two halves of my mind are obsessed with the shelf and their place upon it, and that we have in common.